We have full range of colors starting from 0 degree to 360 degree and Hello guys, I am back with another unboxing video and in this video we are going to talk about this amazing RGB pocket light which can be a really awesome tool for your filmmaking and photography projects. Before I start the unboxing, I should mention that this RGB pocket lights has so many different names in different markets, but all of them are built by a mother company. They have the same build quality, the same buttons, the same everything, and the only difference is, is the branding and the name. The one I have here is the DBK RGB 135 and you may f uh, find this uh, RGB pocket light with other names like Photix, M200R and many other brandings in different uh, places and different markets. Let's uh, start the unboxing and see what we get inside the box. When you open the box, at first you will see an instructions manual. Then you see that they have placed the RGB pocket light at the top. I will put it aside for now and then we will take a closer look to it. All the other items are placed in a, a small box at the bottom of this box. Let me bring it out. Inside this box you will see a pouch pack which is really nice, it is really soft and I really like it. You will see a hand strap which you can attach to your RGB pocket light and use it. It is really nice that they have it included in the box. There is a USB to USB-C. You will also see a small RGB sticker which you can attach to the back of your RGB pocket light. And the last thing which comes inside the box is a cold shoe adapter which you can use to mount your RGB pocket light at the top of your camera. Now let's take a closer look to the light itself. At the top of this RGB pocket light you will see a power button which you can use to turn this light on or off. At the right side you would see a mode button, a select knob and a brightness knob to adjust the brightness precisely from 1% to 100%. At the bottom of this light you will see a USB 5V out and a USB-C 5V in. You can use the USB-C in to charge your pocket light and you can use the USB out to charge your smartphones or any other of your gadgets which is really nice. You will, also, you will also see a one quarter inch thread at the bottom of this RGB pocket light in order to attach it to your camera or your, your tripod, tripod or anything else. At the left side also you will see another one quarter inch thread which is really nice. This RGB pocket light has a 4000 milliamp battery. It is rated for a CRI of 96 plus and the maximum brightness of this light is 1200 lux at half meters. Now let's turn it on and see what kind of lighting modes we get. But before I turn it on, I prefer to turn all of these lights off so we can better see the lighting, the colors and the power of this light. I turned all the lights off and now the only light which I'm using for this video is this RGB pocket light. One important thing, a feature of this light which I forgot to mention is a beautiful OLED display which is located at the back of this light and shows you some uh, useful information about the modes and the power of this light. The first mode which you see in this light is the CCT mode. In the CCT mode, uh, the normal LEDs of this light turn on and you can change the uh, Kelvin from 3200 uh, 3, to 5600 Kelvin. And now we are at the 5600 Kelvin and now I will change it to uh, 3200 Kelvin which becomes warm. You can also turn the brightness knob to change the brightness level of this uh, light. Uh, right now we are at a uh, 20% brightness which is really bright for this video uh, uh, which is uh, I mean uh, a good brightness for this video I will uh, turn the brightness uh, up and you will see how bright this thing gets and now we are at 100% brightness which is really bright I will change it to 20% uh, you will also see a beautiful uh, time estimation at the back of this light. It shows you how much time uh, with this power level this light gives you. For example, with 20% power level this light uh, would give me 5 hours of runtime, 
with the remaining battery which I have. Now let me switch to the second mode and see the se what we get in the second mode. The second mode of this light is HSI mode, which gives you complete control on the hue, saturation and brightness of the light. Now as you see, I, I am on a hue 0, which is red, and then I will start to increase the hue, and you see that it changes to uh, orange, uh, yellow, green, and all the hues which are in the color wheel. You will see we have access to all of them, and we can change the hue to all the hues which you like. Uh, you can also change the saturation. For example, I will go to a really saturated color, for example, red. Let me change it to red. Now, we are at color red. I will change the saturation. You can change the saturation and make it less saturated. And you can change the saturation to zero, it becomes a white. And you can change the saturation up to 100 to make it really red. You can also change the brightness. It is uh, right now at 10%, it is really bright. I can make it 1% as you see. And now we change it to 100%, which is really bright. Let me bring it back to uh, 10%. This is 10%. Now let's change to the last mode, uh, which is the effects presets, uh, by which they have provided us with 21 um, presets, which is really nice and you will see it now. Now I have switched to the effects mode and the first effect you are seeing is the flash effect. As you see it is flashing. The second effect in this group is flash fast. As you see it starts to flash faster. And the third effect in this group is the TV screen. It looks like I'm uh, watching TV. It mimics the light of a TV. Uh, the second group in the effects mode is flame. As you see, this mimics a light of a flame. For example, if you are uh, sitting in front of a fire, uh, it is really beautiful and moody. The second mode is Flame 2, pulses it, it faster uh, and is really beautiful. It gives the mood of a fire when you are sitting in front of a fire. And the third effect in this group is Candle. It mimics the light of a candle, for example, when a candle is in front of you, it lights, it lights like that. The third group in this mode is fire truck. Uh, it mimics the light of a fire truck. The second one in this group is police, which I really like this mode for the short movies, which is really useful. And this is only at 5% uh, brightness. I will increase it so you can see the 100% brightness. This is the 100% and, and it is making me blind. <laughs> I will change it to 5%. And now this is the ambulance, which gives you a blue light, blue flash. Fourth group we see in the effects mode is the strobe light. It flashes really fast. Uh, a strobe lights one, this is a strobe lights one. It is uh, flashing a little bit uh, slower. And a strobe lights two. It, the kind of behavior in this mode is a little bit different with the other two. We are in the group chase show. The, in this group, it changes the hues very softly. We are at chase show and then we chase fast. It sh changes the hues really fast, as you see. And chase mid, it uh, changes the hues a little bit uh, slower. And now uh, we are at the F group. We have firework. It mimics the lights of fireworks. It is really nice. We have firework one. In this mode, again, it changes how it lights. Uh, it changes the manner, uh, behavior. It has a different behavior in this mode. And we have firework two. As you see. In the G group, we have romantic, which gives you romantic lights. We have club. It is awesome for your parties. You can play music with this. And Club 2, which gives you colorful lights for your parties. Again, you can play music and dance with this. And back to the romantic. And we are back to the TV screen. And here are the 21 effect presets of this amazing RGB pocket light, which would be really useful for your filmmaking projects 
and your short films. Well, these were all the three different modes for this amazing RGB pocket light. Overall, I think this is a really good option for filmmakers and photographers. You can use this for your short films, your for your other filmmaking projects. You can also use this as if you are a portrait photographer to create that dual tone photos. For example, as you see in this photo, I use this RGB pocket light as a second light with the blue tone for my male portrait photo shoot and it gave a really nice uh, looking to this photo. The main light in this photo was a strobe flash and the second light as you see the blue light was this RGB pocket light which I used in this photo. The price of this thing is around $120 but again it, it differs from market to market as I said because it has a different branding and the price would be different in different markets. I hope that this unboxing and review was useful for you and if you liked it please do not forget to press that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel cause that would be really appreciated. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.